Hey everyone, welcome back to Trek on the Two. I was gonna follow up the Starfleet uniforms by making another informative video about Star Trek in general, but I think it's best if I give you a short update on Star Trek Discovery. Now I don't want this channel to be focused only on Discovery, but I could probably do some monthly updates for you guys. So March 2017 update, engage. First things first, let's talk about the controversial Klingons just to get it over with. Essentially what happened is a while back, an extra from Star Trek Discovery released a photo of Klingons on set. He's since been fired, and the Star Trek community went absolutely crazy. There's huge debate about the makeup, people are asking if they're actually Klingons, or maybe ancestors or close relatives. To tell you the truth, we just don't know enough. The costumes, hairstyling, makeup might not even be finished on these guys. All we know is there seems to be some sort of color-schemed hierarchy in place. I mean, all of the front actors are wearing black costumes, and there's this one guy in the background wearing white. I'm not going to spend too much time theory crafting about all this, because that's not what this channel's about, but I would love to know what you think whether you are a Star Trek fan or not. Moving on to actual official information released by CBS, three more actors have been announced. Terry Serpico will be playing Admiral Anderson and he's been confirmed for five episodes. Moloch Pancholi will also be present for five episodes. He'll be playing Dr. Nembui on the USS Shenzhou. And Sam Bartolomeos will also be present for five episodes on the USS Shenzhou. He'll be an ensign. Interesting to note that these five episodes are consecutive. They go from five to nine. So maybe there's going to be a story arc where the USS Shenzhou meets up with the USS Discovery and they travel some time together. I can't really tell you anything of interest about the actors, I mean they're not really big names, but it is nice to see that the casting is quite diverse. We now move on to music. Charles-Henri Avelange, a French composer, has been confirmed as the composer for Star Trek Discovery. He recently tweeted a snippet for some Star Trek Discovery theme music and there's a full length video on his YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. This may or may not be the main theme, considering everything is still in production, but I'm willing to bet that this music will be used over the title sequence. It's quite a departure from the original series theme, that's for sure. It sounds more like DS9 if you ask me, but I think it's a beautiful piece, and I can't help imagining flying around in space when listening to it. The last thing I wanted to address, and the thing I'm most excited about, is Adam Nimoy, Leonard Nimoy's son, recently said in an interview that he would love to see a digitally remastered Spock on screen. This whole trend started with Fast and Furious, when they replaced Paul Walker by CG images after his death. And they've been doing it a lot recently. We got a young Robert Downey Jr. in Civil War, numerous characters in Rogue One, the next Pirates of the Caribbean will feature a young Johnny Depp, and they've even been doing it in television series. HBO's Westworld gave us a young Anthony Hopkins. Now you're probably sitting there thinking that doesn't look anything like young Anthony Hopkins. It's done on purpose. He's supposed to look like young Robert Ford, the character that Anthony Hopkins was playing. So what does this all mean? It means that this kind of technology isn't only used in big budget films. It can be used in television series and look pretty good. Star Trek Discovery could pull off a remastered Spock. I personally would love to see that. Maybe in one, two episodes throughout the series. Not all the time, of course. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. As I was editing this video, CBS announced some important information. Jason Isaacs, that you probably know best from the Harry Potter series as Lucius Malfoy, has been cast as the captain of the USS Discovery. The captain will be called Captain Lorca, which kind of surprised me because I thought they were going to use Garth of Izar. Garth of Izar was an ex-Starfleet captain that we saw in the original series episode, Whom Gods Destroy. Essentially what happened was he was a very well-respected captain, but gradually became more and more mad and eventually attempted a genocide. That could have been an interesting story, but it seems they're going in a different direction. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this new channel. Live long and prosper.